Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I would ask if you can hear me, but you don't have your headphones on. Well, I can hear you the other way. Oh, interesting. The old-fashioned way. So when you were looking, you could see the background and everything? Yeah. Everything looks good? Yes, ma'am. You feel feeling good? I'm feeling fantastic. Welcome. This is uh, episode three. Yeah. Of Let's Be Real. Episode three. We are doing a Stranger Things season four, part two. Yep. Yep. We're, I hope we're not going to ramble as much as we did in the last one. And this is, I'm Tyler and um, <laughs> this is, I'm one, two, three. Yep. And I have a dad joke. Are you ready for this? Uh, I'm never ready. How, you have to answer this. Uh, How did the kids from Stranger Things clean up Hawkins? How did the kids in Stranger Things clean up Hawkins? Yep. Um, I don't know. Come on, man. You give up way too easy. And it's not that I give up way too easy. I don't know. They hawked it? <laughs> they hawked it? I don't know. Ask yourself the question one more time. How did the kids in Stranger Things clean up Hawkins? Dustin! Damn it. <laughs> they were dusting. They were dusting. I have a headache now from that. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so, we are... Um, are you live? Yeah, I'm also, we're also live on Instagram as well. We're, th- we're just trying some new things. So, we, yeah. We're, we're just trying some new things. New things coming out. We're going to be updating a lot of things. What is this for? This is your thing. So, we're going to be going over, what, uh, Stranger Things Season 4 Recap Part 2. Right. If you haven't seen if you haven't seen uh, Part 1, it's on our YouTube page. You can click the link in our bio. Um, and, yeah, you can go ahead and watch that glorious, majestic episode. It's, it's really majestic. And that's when the intro starts. <laughs> And so go ahead. I know we talked you, earlier. I'm you didn't even answer my request. Oh, your request. So sorry. Yep. How dare you? We're standing right next to each other, sitting next to each other, and we're yeah, gonna, we're not standing. We're gonna be on Instagram Live together. Yep. I have my microphone down. Turn your microphone down. So my microphone's down. Still echoing. Yeah. That's it's not gonna work. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I'll. Leave. <laughs> so sorry about that. Anyways, so yeah. So Juan, go ahead, man. Take it away. Take this episode away. But you can join the Instagram. Take it away. Watch it live, so we can get viewers. You know. Oh, I can look. I can look at you here instead of looking at you over there. Yeah, that's fine. That's a little weird. <laughs> um, but go ahead, man. Go ahead. Take it away. Take this episode away. Stranger Things recap, season four, part two. Oh, I'm having fun with the little stickers here. <laughs> <laughs> you're so you're so <laughs> weird. But go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Start breaking it down. And just take it away. You got this. Um, where did we leave off? We were talking about what? We we ended it off obviously with the with the how the season ended. That's what we ended off with. Oh. But, like, go ahead. Just start sharing your, what you thought, like, from, you know, your favorite episodes or whatever. Well, well, my favorite episodes were um, uh, the last one, obviously. Mm-hmm. The, the best one. Yes. In my opinion. Okay. But um, other ones, I don't know. I, th- I, li- I liked... Um, I liked I liked any parts that had to do with um death? No. More like um um I'm drawing a freaking blank, man. Oh man, I'm so sorry. We have a viewer, Dakota. She hasn't watched that far, so she can't watch oh, this. Oh yeah, she just started watching it. I'm so sorry. Um I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 
go watch it and come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but thank you for joining us, though. But go ahead, bro. Your favorite episode is what? The last one. Episode nine. Yeah. Episode nine and the one before it. Not the one before. It. I'm sorry. The one before the break. So seven. Yeah, seven. When they were like getting everything like set up and and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like when they're for, uh, preparing for battle. Oh, right. by the way, whoever's watching this it, on, on Instagram Live right now, you're gonna get spoiled with a bunch of Stranger Things. Um, uh, spoilers. So if you haven't watched the video or the, the video, the uh the show, you're gonna get mad at me, and I'm probably gonna get a couple text messages. Um, just don't slide too hard in my DMs because you might crash into a wall. But um, so your favorite episode, s- episode seven, right? Seven and nine. Seven and nine. <clears throat> um, and why is that? I just think the way it, I guess the cliffhanger of like going from seven and going yeah. from seven, and then you have to wait till you have to wait a couple weeks until the next one. Yeah. Yeah. A couple weeks. Was it was like at least like a month, right? No. I felt like I waited so long. It's because you wa- you watch them all in one day. I, w- <laughs> I would not recommend anybody to watch that in one day. I think I think I watched it. I started watching it when it first seven came episodes out. in one day. Yeah, and that all all of them an hour and forty five minutes long. Yeah. So you, you basically watched all of Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, not really. There would have been a lot you left out too. Yeah, if Star Wars was um, if I watched all Star Wars, I would. I would have been. I'd probably turn like thirty-two, in one day. Because I because of how tired there is. A, there is a, a challenge of watching all nine movies in twenty-four hours, which I want to do at one point in my life. That's a great idea. We can easily we can we can go live and do it. Yeah. Just stay up for twenty-four hours. Yep. Man, that's gonna be so hard. It is. <laughs> it is. We'll do it when we're both off. We'll, we'll have to. We'll have to take off the following day. We we'll have to take off for like a week. No, just to recover. Day. Yeah, probably. Uh, you, uh, PTO, PTO, PTO. Yep, yep. <laughs> vacation time. Okay, oh, yeah, it's a staycation. But um, so episode seven, episode nine. Episode seven was a little slow for me because they, I mean, obviously they were just preparing for the big battle with the Vec. Man. They were trying. They were trying to figure out. They got the light bright. Yeah. Right. They were all left up in the upside down. Mm-hmm. Um. It was cool. Um, they figured out how to speak through the lights, mm-hmm. like Will did with the Christmas lights. Yeah, from the first season. Yes, that was really cool. Somebody on here, dear Billy, that episode was really good too. Oh yes, yes, yes. I was one of the better ones. That was definitely one of the better ones. But um, seven was a little long for me. I mean, obviously because there was. The preparing for battle. There was a lot of setup. There, yeah, a lot. Of I setup. mean, look, there has to be setup for how episode eight and nine were. Yeah. Your thoughts? What are your favorite episodes? To be honest, um, I don't want to be that guy, but I'm probably gonna be that guy. I like the whole season. <laughs> I mean, I, really? <laughs> no. Um. Uh, eight and nine were my favorite episodes. Honestly, um, it's like Stranger Things felt like watching Endgame. You know that was you didn't you didn't talk after you watched Endgame. I know I didn't. You couldn't speak. <laughs> I couldn't. But no, like what I mean is the 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 setup for Endgame. Yeah. The setup for this Stranger Things was so it was like basically like. Everything before the break was basically like Infinity War. Yeah. And then after the break was Endgame. Exactly. And it's uh can't go wrong with it. I mean, it's everything we wanted. If anybody says Stranger Things, episode eight and nine, if there's probably that one person out there. Oh, there that's, definitely that, is. that's probably like ah, I didn't like it. There definitely is that one person that's I out there. I didn't like it. Yeah, but the whole. Man, the whole thing with Eddie. 
I just keep going back to Eddie. That dude. Eddie was great, man. Eddie was, to me, he was the best character of the whole show. No need to be a hero, man. There's no <laughs> in shame or running. Yep. Yep. And then he he turns he turns himself around. He goes, "I didn't run away this time." At when he uh, was fighting off the bats, stupid demo bats. Demo bats. They demo didn't have bats. a name in this. Vecna had a name, and all the other seasons, like the demo dogs and the demo gorgon had. Well, they a name. call them demo bats. Did they call them demo bats? Not in the season, but obviously that's what they're. Everything has a demo in front of it. Yeah. Except for the mind flare. <laughs> The demo mind flare. The demo flare. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, there's so much to say, man. Like, the episode where, and the thing is, it's hard. I can't remember exactly what episode <laughs> it was. But uh, when they went across to go meet up with Dustin's girlfriend. Oh, Yeah. To get the coordinates to find eleven. Yeah, that was a cool episode. I like that. So that the house was so chaotic. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dad is downstairs in his office. Or yeah. Whatever. And like all the kids, like the kids are like doing a play. Like one of them's dead. They're like making a movie. And then Argyle is flirting with the older sister. Argyle. Argyle. I what hope a, he doesn't get killed off. What a pal. I don't think so. I don't think he will. He definitely doesn't have a job at the pizza place anymore. He drove across the country. Oh, you don't know how. Well, halfway. Well, we, well, we don't know how many days that was. He could have only worked on the weekends. <laughs> and <laughs> he's off Monday through Thursday. Yeah. I, I, maybe. No, nah, but I don't think he'd get fired. What about... um? Like, where do they go from here? Where do they go from here? I have no clue. They made an announcement that I was going to be, the <laughs> next season was going to be mostly about, <laughs> about, uh, um, Will. Yeah. There's so many saved f- pictures I put in my phone. Like, on being on Instagram and Facebook. Facebook? <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Zay is uh, throwing me off. He's on here saying, I want to be a bat. <laughs> he said fly, Pelican fly. But, um, yeah, Will, I think is, I think, I think Will has powers. Do you think so? No, well, he was possessed. He might have powers. If he gets possessed by Vecna directly, then he might. I think he has power. Because he was only, like, absorbed, like, he was possessed but he wasn't like the mind flare didn't uh, go into him like it went into Billy but there's a reason why you though. remember like and then you remember like Billy got stronger remember they they locked him up in the in the sauna he still broke out and he almost broke he broke he, yeah he basically did break out and then 11 use your powers mm-hmm. but no um there's there's got to be a reason why will wasn't possessed like that Vecna is like plays minds, mind tricks. Yeah. So I really think Will has powers because he felt like the presence of Vecna. Like he, yeah. As soon the, as he the, drove the, in, as soon as he drove into Hawkins, though, the hairs in the back of his neck stood up, and he said he could feel him. He's like, I feel him. He's he's not dead, but he's weak. He's definitely he's wounded, and he's 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 resting. But I think this is when he might use the mind flare more again. Yeah. All right. So from let's break it down a little bit more. Okay. Um. Let's talk about let's talk about the uh, the the guys the the basketball team. Yeah. Let's, let's circle back to that real quick. Patrick. Pa- Patrick and, and them. Patrick and Jason. You don't really know the other guys' names. It's no, and Jason Lucas. Jason and Patrick and Lucas. So Lucas really wanted to be popular. Um, 
and he kind of like gave up his friendship a little bit with the rest of the group. Yeah. And for ju- fame and glory. Yeah. Which he got, and then he saw that it wasn't even worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Once he saw how they were. I respect act- Lucas for that. Yeah, and then one, <clears throat> once I s- we saw how he was, they were acting, especially when they went to Dustin's house, and he he tried to he tried to call Dustin on the uh, on the phone. Some good popcorn. He tried to call Dustin on on his uh, thing. Yes. CB radio. And they heard and they him. They caught him. Yep. Yep. Eddie hiding in a little boathouse. Yeah. But. He's not a dweeb anymore. No, he's still a dweeb. No. The whole group is the dweebs. I'm a dweeb too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it, bro. This clock one is too good. Um, I got thrown off, man. I'm so distracted. You were, you were talking about the basketball I'm so distracted team. in this episode. It's okay. You were talking about the basketball team. I'm distracted by my ugly face. You don't have anything reflecting in your face, but you, um, you're you talking about the basketball team. Right. So, um, their hangout was like a broken down shack. Yeah. It was the burger restaurant from the first season mm-hmm. where Elle goes and eats those fries. Remember? And she runs away. Mm-hmm. Um, those fries look good, by the way. They did. They're from the 80s. I don't think that has anything to do with it. <laughs> They're 80s fries. They're stale. Oh, 80 fries are just better? <laughs> oh, They're, my God. They're not salted as much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were probably using some different salt then, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, their hangout was that old burger restaurant. Yep. Well, they were partying after the championship game. They were there for like a week. They were, they were drinking. Lucas is throwing up. But, um, yeah, because he's he's never been drunk before. He's trying to fit in. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in the live right now, but <laughs> <laughs> took a hard left turn. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Lucas is trying to fit in, trying to tell his friends, "I want to be popular." Aren't you tired of being? Ner-? And you can clearly see that Mike and Dustin are like, "No, like clearly we're not done being like that." They just want to hang out. Right, watch movies, play video games, well, play D and D. You're in high school. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that's what you're supposed to do. Right. I mean, we still do that now. Yeah, we're not in high school anymore. I can care less. No, I don't do. I don't care. I play D and D. We do play D and D. Yep. But that's neither here or there. Um. So they're partying, and they're getting all fired up. I will say, though, Jason was really good at motivating people. Jason was which one? The one that died? The captain. Yeah, he's the Chrissy's girlfriend. I'm oh, boyfriend. him. <laughs> him. <laughs> but no, like, he was really good at getting people behind him. You know, yeah. like, the way he would, he was motivational. And then the way he walked in to on talk. On the town meeting? Yeah, on the town meeting. And fired everybody up. And then you think that nobody's going to follow him. And then that one guy gets up, walks halfway out, and he goes, didn't you hear him? We got to go find our kids. I will say that. He did have power with that, his his words. Right. But, but you got the whole team fired up. Wouldn't Christy want it? This is, this is for Christy. Uh, got him fired up. Um. So... And he went to go find Chrissy because they didn't know he was she was dead yet. And no, they knew she was dead. That's right. The cop because the cops the interrogated cops. him. Oh, yeah. So we uh, so we get there and then that's when they're like getting all these weapons and Lucas is like, I thought we were just like looking for him. Yeah. And Jason's like, no. No one's got a crowbar. No one's got a bat. Mike, we're talking about Stranger Things season four. So. 
Yeah, and, and then Lucas is st- even though Lucas knows that it's wrong, he still is persistent and follows through with it. But he did warn his friends, like, "Hey guys, like something bad's gonna happen." Like they're looking for Eddie. Yeah, and and then he warns him again. They found him. Mm-hmm. They found him in that in the boat in the boathouse in the boathouse in the boathouse. <laughs> so. And then that's when Eddie runs, right, from the boathouse, and he's in, he's on that boat. He's in the middle of the lake. He's on that boat. Yeah. And that's when Jason starts swimming towards him. You got Dustin and everybody on land. Yeah. And then now you see Patrick. Patrick was... Jason's, like, best friend. Right. And he was the one that got killed, right, by Vecna? Yeah. Yep. What was he hiding that he was chasing him? Because we, it, it showed stay. everybody else. It showed the 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 guy from the um, newspaper for the high school. He it showed Chrissy. He was in a car wreck, right? No, it didn't show anything with Chrissy either. No, it didn't show anything with Chrissy. Well, the only thing it did, well, she was in the bathroom. You think she was like a bully too? She could have been a bully, like fat shaming back then. Maybe. Oh my gosh! It took a hard left turn. <laughs> it took a long what? But um, <laughs> oh my gosh! So the kid from the news—I don't remember his name. Yeah, Patrick. Oh, the, oh, the kid. I don't from remember the his name either. He was in a car wreck, right? And the guy asked him to save him. Right, and, and he, he couldn't. Didn't. He did. He either he didn't or he he couldn't. Yeah, he he's obviously guilty because he's like man. Or he feels guilty. And he never reported it. He just went straight home. He didn't go to the cops or nothing. Which I think he should have. Right. But, um... But, you know, you're in high school. You're something like that tragic happens. You work for the paper, though. Yeah, but, I so mean, you you're would, still... You still have some leeway. I work for the paper, like, this and that. But, um... <laughs> but, um... So, yeah... Patrick, they didn't show what he was guilty of, which they probably... Do you think he felt guilty for how they were looking for Eddie? No. You don't think so? No, because remember, he didn't he have like a black eye at some point in the in the season? He might have. So they might elaborate on that in season five. Oh, he's dead dead. But still though, it may be important on why Vecna chose Patrick. Like... I mean, it's good to know that because that was like, like a cliffhanger death. Like, oh, I didn't expect it. Yeah. it's It looks like because well, he, he started having nosebleeds. Mm-hmm. He was in the backseat of the car. He started having headaches. Yeah, you can he, he, he could hear the ticking. Exactly, which is weird. It was usually Vecna and Stranger Things just goes after his victims like um, because they're guilty of something. Yeah, so he, he's guilty of something. We just don't know what. And then, but that scene was really random and creepy. I did not expect Patrick to die there. Like, I thought Jason. I thought, I thought, he thought was Jason get Eddie or Jason. Yeah. Um, because I was like, oh, this is Jason. It's gonna happen. Like, so Patrick gets thrown into the air. Like it's crumpled. Bone like manipulation, piece of, like, break in, it falls down. Yeah, like the a water. piece of origami. And then you see Jason holding him on the on land, and that's yeah. where. And then Max, Lucas, and Dustin are together, and the cops come. Yep. But, but that episode is really cool because you find out that there's a that there's a gateway. Mm-hmm. They escape, right? Yeah. That they Steve, escape. Well, Steve went down there to go see it. Oh, because yes, because Nancy, Robin, Eddie, and Steve were still at the lake. No, Steve didn't go down there. I'm sorry. No, Steve. Yeah, he went down there to go check it out, and then he comes back up. But Vecna has a vine that's going after him, and it grabs him. Mm -hmm, And pulls him under. And And then then everybody everybody jumps in except for Eddie. He stays, but then eventually he jumps in. That's where the whole running away thing started. Yeah. He didn't say anything, but that's where, for him, I think his character was like, oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm not gonna run away anymore, which is cool, but 
And then right after that, that goes into episode. That was episode seven, correct? No. That was six. Something like that. It was either six or seven. It was six. Because I thought it ended with them in the upside down. Because seven, they were preparing. It ended with all of them in the upside down, but it showed we still had a full episode of them trying to communicate back. Because remember, they were being interrogated about the cops and the parents. Yeah. Those parents are so dumb. (laughs) (laughs) The dad just sits on the couch the whole season. Every season. I don't think he's been off that couch ever since the season started. We've either seen him at the couch or at the dinner table. No, I'm pretty. I thought he ate dinner at the couch this season. No, no, I don't know. Maybe I don't know about this season, but I know so like he mo- he does move. He moves, and he says he has a job, but I don't. I don't know. Blue collar job. I mean, like I said, there's no timeline really. It doesn't say like what time it is in the show. It just gives us the year. Yeah, like we don't know how long Argyle's been on the road with these guys. Definitely doesn't have a job. No, not at all. I don't know. Well, I don't know. It's pizza. He'd probably get another job. Yeah. Well, he, his van is Surfer Boy Pizza. Yep. He's got. He's committed. He's got that whole van wrapped. Is that his van? Or is that the van? I, guess I mean, the way he, he is drives the delivery it. Delivery driver. I mean, the way he drives it. <laughs> hey, driver like you stole it, right? Even if it's not yours. I guess so. I guess so. But. Hmm. So. So Lucas, after he, you know, obviously realizes he meets up back, he meets back up with his friends at that episode, and then he obviously leaves the jocks. Right, and he's all in on helping Max. Yep. Yeah, that was a deep episode, him and Max. Yep. But like, um, what did you? I mean, taking it back to the episode one though. Episode one, I thought was really good too. Um. Chrissy just seems so random. She just seemed to be like such a she random. She was traumatized trait. by something. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking it has to do with bullying or something. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um. Or she, or she could have cheated on Jason. <laughs> like, you don't know what she was guilty of. It never shows. It for her and Patrick, it didn't show what she was guilty. What they're guilty of. Yeah. So. It's hard to understand, like, why he went after those people. Right. Only thing I can think of is he, they're going to, they're going to elaborate and show why in season five. I mean, Vecna's got an army. I would like to see. Yeah. I would like to see exactly what they're guilty of. I mean, he got Nancy. And what was, she, what the heck was she guilty of? The whole thing with Jonathan and Steve. That's it? Because he basically, he showed her. I mean, I'm just saying, like that's so, that is something to be guilty of. Yeah, because she has feelings for Steve, and she's with Mike. I mean, with Steve, with Jonathan. Mike is her brother. Sorry, it's a little weird. Yeah, but I think he, but I don't, but I don't think he really has Nancy though. He just, I think he did that to her just to show her everything that he's about to do. Yeah. Well, he showed her. her excuse me. Showed her everything about him. His life. How. He was kind of like a recluse, you know what I mean? He would kind of stay in his room or do whatever. He would hurt animals, definitely, but he yeah. loved spiders. Yeah, he had weird. Had a weird, weird love for spiders. He grabbed Black Widow. Like but, Black. I mean, but he also showed her everything about what he's going to do to her, her family. Yeah. But Steve was like, oh, but he's just trying to scare you, though, right? I mean, he could be trying to scare her, or he either or he knows the future. Well, he's working. He's, it's working. Because she was terrible. Who well, wouldn't he, be she, scared? He's either just trying to get in her head and scare her, or he's trying to do... He's That's what he's going to do. I mean, who, who wouldn't be scared with that? I mean, he has an army, she said. Too. Yeah. He had an army... The Mind Flayers and the Demodogs, if you can control them. No, but the Demogorgons, but he also has those people that Billy brought to the Mind Flayer. I'm telling you, bro. Oh. They're going to be incorporated because they died, but... At the end of that one ep- at one season where the mind flare ends up being over the school and the upside down, it showed that whole all those people in the upside down. But like possessed. Yeah. It's gonna be weird. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be they're definitely gonna be a part of it later. 
I would say so. Yeah. Um, So then moving from that to when they all went to buy the weapons in episode eight. Yeah, that... That they went to that gun was, store. That scene was, uh, Jason was just weird, man. Yeah. He like g- grabbed the barrel of the shotgun and was just like, was like, how does nobody see this in the store? Right. Now you got all these people with guns in their hands and this guy's going crazy over here and nobody's like, nobody's saying anything, sir. They're not like trying to stop it. It no. was like weird. It was really weird. It was like they were, it's like they were in their own world, which I just don't really get. But, but yeah, go ahead. Elaborate on what you were going to say. Well, no, I'm just like, nobody like caught them buying shopping carts full of gasoline and what well, was the eighties. It was probably a guns really different time and ammunition. Also, it was a time of like desperation. Like, yo, we don't know what's going on in the town. We're probably going to blame it on the Russians. They blame everything on the Russians. Well, because well, I only re- the only reason I say that is because when the um the season with the mall, which was season three, yeah, the Russians were building like a portal. Yeah, they had they built one in the mall, which was a gateway, mm-hmm. which led down. right to Russia, in the town, in that jail. Well, yeah, but it was supposed it was it was direct it was a um, portal to go to the upside down. Yeah, which I want to know how they opened that. Because Eleven opened the one in Hawkins. That's yeah, it. I remember they had the piece of the mind flare in how, Russia. How the heck did they get that? I don't know. That's that's the thing. It showed these pieces like they have the mind flare in Russia, but that doesn't show or explain how they got it. I hope they explain it in the next season. Because do they have an, uh, an Eleven over there? Do they have their version of eleven? I don't. Or one? Th- I don't think it's two different people or two different mind flares. I just no. Think they I'm gotta, just saying. No, no, no. What I mean is like, is there somebody over 11? there that has the powers of eleven and one and everybody? Oh, got you, got you, got you. Taking a short intermission. Taking a short intermission. Oh, this is dope. You can share a f- picture now. So that's what people can see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. But, um, but yeah, we're talking about Stranger Things. Season four. Yeah. If you want, if you could, you could, um, on yours, you can just like share it with anybody, which I think would be fine. This is what I see. Well, you see it. Well, I'm talking about like share it with like some followers and stuff. But, um, but yeah. What, um, go ahead. Go ahead and finish what you were just talking about. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Sorry. The portal. You were wondering if they have another oh, version yeah, yeah, of yeah. one and eleven. The, over there. I want to know how the heck they opened that portal. How they how they knew how you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How do they know? They don't know. No, no, no. They knew. Wait, what? Do you, wait, what do you mean? They knew of the upside down. How they know of the upside down? Because the only people that we know that know mm-hmm. is. Everybody at the lab in Hawkins. Mm-hmm. So. It just like how do the Russians know? Yeah, how how do the Russians know? Um, yeah, that's a good. I think it's season five they're gonna have to address that. I think so. Cause you're doing what season five and, and six and that's it, right? I think it's ending after five. I I think five five is the last one. Yeah. And considering that they had hour thirty minute long of each episode. Yeah. I think probably the ep- the episodes might be longer. So, but yeah. That'd be awesome if they were longer. No, I don't think they'll probably be the same. Yeah, you, the same or longer. I just don't I just don't want them to be shorter. 
Yeah. For sure. I don't want I don't want them to jump down to like thirty minutes. There's I mean, nothing to be honest though, there's they, nothing you can tell in thirty minutes. That's how they did all the other seasons. Right? No, like forty five minutes. They're all hours. Just this one they were all like over an hour, like thirty minutes. I think they they'll probably over. do an hour each episode. Yeah. Which I I think that's fine. Oh yeah, I don't I mean yeah. But um What did you think? Like, what were your thoughts when Eleven sent one through the wall? I thought. No, what was your like? Like, your reaction? maybe she like obliterated him. Like he, she killed him. Yeah, cause he kind of like speckled away, like when like Thanos snap. Mm-hmm. But then, um, it showed him in the upside down. I was thinking this whole time that she maybe she created the upside down oh, okay. because I know they say she opened a portal to it but never really showed how it opened up until like she took she basically used Vecna's power against him I mean mm-hmm. it was her she was holding him against the wall pushing him so hard because she was so angry but I don't know like he went like inside out into the Upside down. Yeah. I thought that was cool. I, th- I thought that was really cool. Because this whole time I thought maybe like, oh, maybe she created the upside down. So you're talking about but the possibility the that she created the upside down with by sending him down there? That's what I thought, but a little I mean, theory, it was that already, little possible theory. That was a possible theory that I was thinking of through the whole throughout, uh, throughout all three seasons, up until that episode. I guess four seasons, up until that episode. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a that's a that's a good point, though. That is a good point, it really is. If you would like to go live from there, me on yours, you can, and I'll just. Go live from ex- my my um oh we got a father cool um but anyways like what I'm saying is uh oh that's not right oh oh my god that's Seth Rollins oh oh my gosh oh Seth Rollins oh my gosh I'm going live from another page I don't know what is this what is that I don't know I don't know what <laughs> some oh my god. That's so. That sounds horrible. Ah! What are they grinding stone? Oh, you gotta make a clip out of that. <laughs> oh my god, you're not. You didn't go live yet. No, I, I'm going live right now. But um, but yeah. So the pot. That's a, actually that's a pretty dope theory, though. About? Honestly, about sending. You know, she created the upside down. You know. Yeah. Um, if that possibility, uh, that would really be interesting because it could be true. Um, also now I'm thinking, um, yeah, so she pretty much used his own powers against him, which I I agree with you. I think that was really cool. Kind of got in his head. Yeah, definitely. Cause he, he manipulated her a lot. Got her to take the chip out of his neck. Yep. All this stuff. So, I think that was pretty cool, though. Even the even that little, you know, hey, take it out to my come on, take take this out of my neck. Like talked her into it, and he soon said as, it was a tracking. As chip. soon as she did that, he just went bananas. Just he went yeah. destroyed her. He not even just her. Like he killed. So we see most of the people like they extend their hand to use their power. Yep. He didn't have to. He just killed people with like just like he did that whole getting thing with their the, focus with like snap you know turning the head and he, he snapped the, the neck. He turned his head. Yeah. Like this guy is uh, he's a lot stronger than uh, he let on. Oh, he didn't even need to let on anything. They just said he was an, he always worked there, but in, in all reality, he was number one. He was number, number one. one. <laughs> <laughs> 
But, um, so we're talking theories. So, speaking of theories, I was talking to a friend of mine, and she had mentioned to me that there's this theory going. Oh, Brittany. Okay. Shout out to Brittany. Um, she was talking about this. Well, she was telling me this theory. Uh huh. That she heard. Um, that Eddie is not dead. Okay. That he is in the upside down, being turned into a vampire. Who's turning him into a vampire? Well, he was bit by the bats, by the demobats. So he'd be a, a he'd be a demovamp. <laughs> 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 but I mean, but it showed him dying. He could have not died. He could have. I mean, that's a theory. Yeah. Come on, don't poo-poo on this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but... Yeah, it's a theory. But... But, I mean, it make, I mean... It makes sense. We've never seen the birds or the bats before. I mean, but... You saw this man die. But he could have not died. This whole time I thought Papa was dead, and here he is Who? in Arizona. Papa. Yeah, I know. He just pops up out of nowhere. He just pop a papa. Just papa popping up everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> popping up, popping up popcorns. You got that popping corn. You got that popcorn? From the Pueblo. Oh, uh, not a sponsor. <laughs> well, if they like the sponsor, if you got Yeah, so. dude, not, I'll take the sponsorship. I'll take the sponsorship. I mean, they, spon- they sponsor me. Well, you there. work for them. I work there. <laughs> but, theories, man, I can't keep putting, I can't put this thing down. This is good, man. But, um, you got popcorn all over the floor. Well, it's your house. So. <laughs> it's one popcorn. But, um, I'm thinking the Russians, I'm not saying they created the upside down, mm-hmm. but I definitely think they were there first. They may have been. How did they get a piece of the mind flare? How'd they get it out? How, you know well, what I remember, mean? the mind flare was nothing. At first, it was just a cloud. No, the mind flare was there. It was it was the acting as the mind flare, but then Vecna controlled it, started controlling it more. Yeah, but no, but remember, he's just, been controlling it since yeah, season one. It was just a cloud. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. The Russians might have been in there before him. So do you think when he controlled the mind flayer, he had also control of that piece that was in Russia? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm-mm. I'm saying they went in the in the upside down, and they got a piece of the mind flayer. Like they went in there and gra- like put it Just in that big machine. Cut it? Not cut it. It was a cloud. Well, how'd they get a piece? I mean. He's a cloud. He wasn't formed yet as a mind flare. Mm. So I'm just saying, that big machine they had, they had to hook something up because, man, that, that gateway they had open was huge. It was. It was massive. It was like the one that was in uh, at the end of season two. Yeah. Yeah. So when they did that, when I seen how big that was, now I'm thinking... How long could that have possibly taken to get it that big? Well, remember the one in, in season two, they'd take a freaking elevator and they were only halfway down. Yeah. There was exactly. like still like a whole bunch of stories. That's now. what I'm saying. So. Because that's not the original crack. Because the original. <laughs> it's not. It's not the original crack. It's not. They recracked it. But we actually don't know if that's the original or not. Well, I'm talking about in Hawkins. Yes. I'm, I'm talking about Russia. Yeah. The one in Russia where Hop apparently died at. Mm-hmm. That crack was huge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was the 80s. We're over here talking about crack. <laughs> not crack, but you know the cracks. I mean, it, it is 80s, so. Yes, cracks. But... <laughs> yeah, I'm sticking to that theory. They were there first. Uh huh. They were there first. They got a piece of the mind flare. I don't know how, but it's a possibility. 
And that's why it's so big because they were, they've been working on getting it that big for so long. It didn't just show up like that. Do you think, do you think they're taking like machinery and stuff in there? Oh yeah. 100% bro. Cause like they had a demo, they had a demo dog and a (laughs) demo Gorgon. Oh, he's quoting you, man. He is. Since the sixth grade. That's my boy, Zach. <laughs> he just got a van. And they is picked it, my it, name for it. Does it look like, like the pizza one from Stranger no, Things? No, no, no. Oh, okay. They, but they, I won the sweepstakes for the best uh, name for the van. What was the name? The Millennium Falcon. Oh, <laughs> they used to be, that's good. They used to be my Wi-Fi name. All right. My Wi-Fi now it's a Death Star. I thought you were saying, I thought you were about to say, <laughs> that was my wife's name. <laughs> huh? I thought you were going to say, this. Was, that was my wife's name. Oh, the Millennium Falcon? <laughs> you said my wife. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said it's better than the golden glitter bus. <laughs> <laughs> you can only call that if it's gold. But it is gold. Oh, it is? Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> I haven't seen a picture of this van. I don't know it's what it looks like. It's the gold Millennium Falcon. So it is the one. It's So it's gold. I mean, it's just basically an all, like a different color of a hey, yellow. Throw that. Oh, you don't have that same picture as I do. No, I don't. I have a different one. How do you do it? Just hit the... Uh... Um, I got questions. Maybe the video thing? Nope. Nope. Oh, oh, you just cut out. I'll get to it in a little bit, baby. I'm broken. But yeah, they... Um... Oh, found it. But yeah, so... Sticking to that theory, man. I'm definitely thinking they were using machinery. It's bro, it's Russia. I put the Stranger Things background up. I don't know how to do it. Go to your gallery. Where? How? Where? Bro, are you? Oh my gosh! Just what? Don't worry about it. No. But um, I'm gonna worry about it. No, seriously, I'm sticking to that theory. I'm thinking they use machinery to get that thing open. Um. And also. Dustin was communicating with him through his radio just by listening to remember that. Yeah. So they were either they did stuff before mm-hmm. or they were kind of at the same timeline with it. So I think I think season five is going to be like a Russian war with over the upside down. The military is going to get involved. I mean, already because 11 destroyed him. <laughs> you remember that scene? When she destroyed the helicopter? Yeah. That was That was some like GTA awesome. modification stuff. Definitely. Dude. GTA mod. There that's like uh the Force Unleashed, the Star Wars game where you pull the whole freaking Star Destroyer out of the out of the sky and right into the planet. Oh yes. I love that. I love that part of the game. So But that scene, like Papa's dead now. I thought he was dead the whole time. Papa he's was dead a now. rolling stone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's dead now. Bullets in his back. He got shot shot in the back. <laughs> he got He got shot in the ass. Cracks. <laughs> <laughs> so Vecna opened up all these portals. Yeah. So he had four portals, right? Four four portals, four deaths. Each death opened, opened a portal. A, remember, Max died for a minute. That's what got Hawkins to crack like that. Yeah. That was cool though, the way it cracked. And yeah. the way you see like um I hate it. Vecna won over a technicality. Did he really? Well, I I mean <sighs> he um when what's his face? He got cut in half. Jason? Yeah. He was just chilling in the back. That was cool. He was just like laying there and then he was like alive. But how did you get he got sliced in half? Like how though? Like what cut him in half? He he was laying where the uh-huh. town split. Yeah, but how do you? I just don't understand. If you're Jason, okay, he's laying here. Like if this opens, how does he split? It opened this way. Yeah, but but so it was like cutting. Like the, it wasn't just opening. It oh, was that's cutting. right. Things were like it was breaking through. Yeah, it was cutting. The floor killed him. So it wasn't fact. It was the floor. The that, floor, the floor, would. the floor killed him. So, so the f- floor one, right? Jason zero. 
Oh, that would be hilarious. You know, if we just had like a scoreboard. A scoreboard. Jason, zero. Floor, one. <laughs> <laughs> when we, well, I mean, that, but when we, we can use Streamlabs and we, and we can start going live on YouTube and we can start doing that stuff. Yep. So, but anyways, season four recap, part two, rating right now. Part two. Zero out of five. Oh, the show. Zero, I want your oh, rating on the whole show. Five. Five out of five? Yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing I disliked about it. My scale broken. Your scale broken? Mm-hmm. My scale broke. Okay. Was it? Like a six. Like a nineteen. Six. Oh. Six. So if I give yeah, it okay, a f- my scale didn't break, but it kind of like tipped over. So if I give it like a five out of five, right? Yeah. Yeah. Five out of six. That's fine. No, five out of five. <laughs> I think it's it was perfect. There's nothing I disliked about the show. Yeah. About this season. No, there's one thing I disliked. What? Jason. We, well, I I really liked that he got cut in half. So, and there's just, nothing I just like Anakin slaughtered those children. There's enough. <laughs> I feel like that's the best part of the movie. Uh, that movie. Alrighty, <laughs> but um, so um, what was I gonna say? Dang it. Um. Oh yeah, I didn't like how Eddie died. I didn't like that he died. I don't think he's dead. Oh, we don't know. I'm going. I'm going with the with the theory that's been. I'm brought shutting to my face. that theory down. I don't think he's dead. I the, think he's dead. That theory was brought to my face, and I'm gonna go with it. Oh, well, we whoever brought you this theory, we should probably have on the show and talk about this. Oh, that'd be great. We set it up. I'll try. Set it up. I can't make no promises. I just set it up. I can't. I can't make any promises. But that that will that that will conclude the episode. We're gonna stop here. Yeah, I mean, we might as well. I mean, we recapped it. We're pushing over an hour. Oh, yeah. We recapped it. I think it was good. Um, Season was great. Yeah, it was great. But thank you guys for tuning in to Let's Be Real, the Let's Be Real podcast. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the YouTubes. Um, also, follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Um, you can hit the link tree in our bios. Yeah, the, um, all everything that we have up right now social media wise it's all in the link tree yes um, just click that link it'll take you wherever you want to go hey, also we're going to start going live soon uh, that way you got we can interact with people while we're also doing recording, this yeah. recording and doing I we're think I, we want to interact and you know engage with people that are viewing uh, you know we that way we can probably do like some cool giveaways we can do like a lot of I just think I just think that just makes more sense but we have a lot planned uh, we have something August seventeenth will be the first episode of She Hulk that we'll be dropping on Disney Plus or for us. That's when we're dropping it. It oh. comes out a week before that. Oh, okay, yeah. All the dates I sent you are the dates that we drop it. Oh, that we're okay, dropping stuff. okay. Because I didn't look at the Marvel timeline. Well, bro, they're, they're dropping forward. so much. Oh my god, I love I'm, that. Not, well, I love not that so phase. much at once, but they're just they already have Phase Five for Wait, the they're Kang going Dynasty all the way into twenty twenty five. I love oh. that Phase Four ends this year. I didn't think it was gonna be so soon. It but ends with it ends with Wakanda Forever in November, November eleventh. So is Wakanda Forever ending it or starting Phase Five? No, it's ending Phase Four. Okay. Phase Five starts with. I feel like this is a whole another episode. It starts with Ant uh, Ant Man and the and Quantum Mania. You know what? We have a few weeks before She Hulk comes out. Why next week? Why don't we start breaking down our favorite? Mm-hmm. Movies from Marvel, like the Avenger timeline. Oof. That's going to be like a two-hour episode. You know what? That's what we're doing. Tune in next week. Thank you guys for tuning in to Let's Be Real. Zach has a cat he can give away. Yeah, we're not touching that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, I don't, never mind. You know what? We'll give it to Asian Jim. We'll give it to Asian Jim. Oh, from Asian the Jim? From the office. But um, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in to Let's Be Real. My name is Tyler, and this is one, two, three. Yep. You guys have a great night. Stay classy, my friends.